On May 18th of this year, the Diocese of Western Michigan elected its ninth bishop, the Reverend Wayne Hoagland, who is the rector of St. Luke's Church in Salisbury. Congratulations. Thank you. Well, tell us about the Diocese of Western Michigan. Where is it and what cities are there? Okay. Well, the Diocese of Western Michigan is, okay, here's Michigan. This is what you do if you're a Michigander. Uh, this is over here is Detroit, and the whole left side or the right side of my hand here along the western coast of the, of the, di of the Lake Michigan, Lake Michigan, I'm going to get it, I got it, Lake Michigan is the diocese. So it goes all the way from the north all the way to Indiana and everything in between. Grand Rapids is the big city, Kalamazoo, Battle Creek where they make Kellogg's cereal, I think, where it's great. Right? Yeah. Uh, and then all along the coast there's lots of wonderful seashore towns, Grand Haven and Muskegon and Holland and Petoskey, which is apparently yeah. beautiful. Traverse City, beautiful area of the world. Wow. Well, you've been through, you're going through what Bishop Ann Hodges Koppel just went That's through right. recently. And That's a bishop right. transition is very unlike the transition going from one as a rector of a parish going to another. What's been, what's that been like for you, for the people of St. Luke's and, and for the people of Western Michigan? What's been happening? Well, it's been crazy. I mean, my life changed like that as soon as the election was over and just wow it's like trying to drink water out of a fire hydrant you know it's just, just, just a lot of stuff but it's good it's all been really good and exciting yeah. and so lots of transition taking place in two places uh, transitioning out at St. Luke's I've been working really hard these last few weeks to um, to help the vestry and the congregation um, prepare for an interim that's going to be coming in and to uh, sort of set the stage for that and to, to leave some words of wisdom in my last, uh, I feel like Paul these days, you know. The Apostle Paul? The Apostle Paul. We'd like to hear more about that. <laughs> yes, yeah, the Apostle Paul. Listen to what I'm saying. Yes. I want you to remember these things, please. <laughs> That's kind of how I feel. Please remember these things. And, and they've, been, they've been tremendously oh. supportive and wonderful. It's a great congregation. St. Luke's is the best kept secret in the diocese, I'm oh, going to tell you. they're wonderful. They're terrific. Well, what about Western Michigan? You've been there. I've been to Western Michigan on two, uh, for two weeks, two separate weeks. Uh, the first week I went up and met with the new staff, with them as a group and individually. I met with all the clergy of the diocese, uh, all those who came to a, a, a luncheon gathering that we had. Spent some time with the bishop to learn more Good. about the area and the issues and uh, spent some time working on the consecration service as well. So lots and lots and lots of details. Wow. Uh, Inquiring minds may wonder why we're standing in front of the portrait of Bishop Estill. Why are we standing here, Wayne? Well, Bishop Estill was a good Kentucky boy like myself, and he was the rector at Christ Church in Lexington, where I also served as the loose cannon well, before I came to the Diocese of North Carolina. So to honor my fellow Kentuckian, we thought it would be fun to stand in front of his portrait. I was just wondering, um, being from Kentucky, yeah. I'm just thinking of college sports, especially mm -hmm. basketball, and then having been here right. and appreciating different shades of blue yeah. and, and red and, and, red. and purples, purples and um, sort of all those. And now you're going, I believe, to Michigan. I'm just Michigan. wondering yeah. how you will, in the name of Christ, navigate this. <laughs> it's going to be a tough <laughs> Where will your loyalties be? No, I'm a UK fanatic and so my allegiance and alliance will always be with the University of Kentucky Go Big Blue. <laughs> Wait, God love you brother. Thank you. Thank and to the people of St. Luke's we thank you for sharing Wayne with the wider church and we pray God's blessing on you, thank on the you. people of Western Michigan and on the whole church of Jesus Christ. Amen. God love you and keep the faith. And I'm number 1077. What does that mean? 1077. You don't know what that means? No, I don't know. I didn't know what it means either, but apparently that's my bishop number in the House of Bishops. It is. And uh, you can find it on Wikipedia. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> Every bishop has a number assigned, um, the American succession since Samuel right. Seabury. You are number 1077. What number are you, bishop? 955. 955. 955. Yeah. I was hoping for 007, but I didn't get that It's one. been taken. It's been taken. In the 18th century. <laughs> I was looking for James Bond. I hope this is a blooper. <laughs> nope. <laughs>